Rena found herself in Scotland in the year 1741. Cold October winds swept across the castle grounds, where she was now a maid, watching children play. The children all had vivacious, bright red hair that glowed like fire in the setting sun. One day, in the blink of an eye, she was out of the castle, away from Scotland. Raina stood in the centre of a bustling cafe, clad in a waitress uniform. A girl accidentally spilled coffee on a man's laptop, and Raina rushed to clean it up. Now Raina found herself in a grand castle again. But this time, unlike the Scottish one, it was filled with jewels and gold. There she was, meeting with a dragon's heir, the young prince of the realm who had inherited his father's draconic powers. Rena hopped from one world to another, time and setting constantly in flux. But one day she came upon a familiar realm, a world spun from the words of an author she knew, Artem. In this world, Raina met two fairy-like entities, Sapphire and Rosethorn. She recognised them from a story written by Atem, and it dawned on her. She was in Storybird AI, a world filled with endless stories by Atem. Raina decides to stay in this world, at least for a while. She plans to create massive events, hoping to write herself into the story and catch the attention of the higher beings in charge. She started with Sapphire and Rosethorn, convincing them to use their powers to manipulate the elements. Sapphire created an ocean from a single raindrop, and Rosethorn turned an acorn into a forest in mere moments. Next, she helped them in a grand festival, where all the stories of Atom came to life. Characters from different tales mingled, their actions contributing to the grand narrative of the festival. However, something unexpected happened. The events overwhelmed the Storybird AI and the worlds began to blend together, creating strange hybrids, unstable intersections of realities. Rena saw this as an opportunity to get noticed. She launched herself into the chaos, using her knowledge of atom stories to navigate the tangled world and stabilize it. However, the more she tried to stabilize the world, the more chaotic it became. Despite her best efforts, the intertwined worlds could not be untangled and continued to spiral out of control. Rena realized she needed to go to the dragon's heir. As a source of power in this world, he might just have the strength to restore the balance of the mixed-up worlds. However, reaching the dragon's heir proved to be a daunting task. He dwelled in another story, one which was now fragmented and mixed with others, making the path to him a treacherous maze. Nonetheless, Rena pressed on, her determined green eyes reflecting the myriad realities around her. With Sapphire and Rosethorn by her side, she plunged into the narrative maze, searching for the dragon's heir. After long hours of navigating through the convoluted narrative labyrinth, Rena finally found the dragon's heir. The young prince, with his fiery eyes, acknowledged Rena's pleas for help. With a mighty roar, the dragon's heir unleashed his draconic powers, his fiery eyes glowing in the darkness. From the chaos of the mixed realities, a semblance of order began to emerge. Rena watched as the convoluted narrative started to detangle. Stories flowed back into their respective worlds, the dragon's heir acting as a powerful beacon, guiding them to their rightful places. Although the world was returning to normal, Rena realized that she still hadn't accomplished her goal. She had not yet been able to make herself known to the higher beings. In the midst of the unfolding chaos, she seized a moment of calm. Standing at the edge of the world, she shouted her email address into the void, renesterybird at gmail.com, hoping that her voice would be heard. Suddenly the world halted. Rena felt the presence of a superior entity. She could not see them, 
but she knew they were there listening. She took this chance to request to be sent back to her own world. The entity was silent for a moment. Then the air reverberated with a voice. Like the hum of a gentle breeze, it whispered, Your wish has been granted. In a flash, Rena felt a familiar shift beneath her feet. Her surroundings changed, and she found herself in her own world again. She was home, but her adventure in Atom's realm would forever be etched in her memory. Reyna stared at the world around her, a world of familiar sights and sounds. She was back, but she couldn't help but feel a part of her was still living amidst the fantastic worlds of Storybird AI. She knew she would miss Sapphire, Rosethorn, and the dragon's heir. Even though they were just characters in a story, to her they were friends, allies in her adventure. With the adventure over, everyday life resumed. However, the worlds of Atom still called to her. Maybe one day the higher beings might bring her back for another adventure in the ever-changing worlds.